Hello my friends and channel subscribers, we're here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no go video. So that's the springtime in Australia or anytime wherever you are and you decided to clean your carpets and you got excited just like me and bought a carpet cleaner. Something like that. As a BSO Powerhead Pro, if you did not see videos that I posted before, I put in a card above my unboxing video for those people that like seeing what's in the box, uh, how you assemble it and my first impressions. And you know, if you like me that like assembling without reading instructions, would give you an opportunity to have a look what is in the box and how you go about it. And then I had my second video that again I post above there where I had my first clean and that was phenomenal because I did not realize how dirty carpets are. I vacuum them every week and still the uh, exhaust canister of the, of the uh, carpet cleaner was so dirty. But this video is not about that. This video is about I just realized how expensive to run carpet cleaner. And that's not expensive because the carpet cleaner, the good one, costs more than uh, $500. It is expensive because the way it works, uh, you need a solution, something like that, that they provide to you with the purchase, but then you need to buy your own. They need to add every time into a container that is on top. And that container, what it does, it mixes with water and when you start cleaning your carpet, it kind of injects it on top of the brushes, brush all the dirt out and then sucks back into the exhaust container below. So what's happening here is um, in the average room, I was talking about the Australian room, you need or I needed one and a half of those big uh, containers of solution and what solution is it's a concentrated formula and water and it's all good and dandy until you realize that that solution costs 17 dollars in the shops what that even means that means if you like me have a three to five room uh, house plus uh, extra rug plus furniture to clean you may spend 25% of your original purchase of the carpet cleaner on the chemicals. And when I start cleaning, I just realized to clean five bedrooms, it cost me more than hundred dollars in chemicals. And I start looking for solutions and thanks for people on internet, I gather together how we can go around this problem. Mind you, just little small print here the reason for this review is i'm not affiliated with beer so i don't support the way of doing business and this is why i choose to do what i do Bissell say if you use any detergents but theirs it may avoid their warranty or they can use any scare tactics that they want uh, there's nothing special about this and if people decipher on the internet what is in there uh, I'm pretty sure it's safe to use and there's no other magic in clean carpet. So everything that I will be talking about today I buy on Amazon because I checked today and Amazon prices are either lower or same as a local uh, supermarket or, or chemist or any appliance shop. So I don't have time to go to those places just click and collect. So what I'll do I'll post in the description of this video every single uh, chemical that I'm using and they easily click and collect and what's more important you may already have them in your household uh, so you can utilize them and if you don't if you buy it's not specifically for carpet cleaning those are just normal chemicals you would use in your everyday life so let's start from the beginning what do we need to clean carpet and it, like that's a quick explanation why we use those chemicals that we use when we clean carpet, we need, I guess, four main things. First is to remove odors, uh, whether it's pets or just normal walking on the carpet, it doesn't really matter. 
and make it slightly soft on top. So for that we'll be using fabric softener and I already dispensed this one. So I'll talk about quantities soon, but then just quickly describe what we'll be using to make formula for carpet cleaner. It will be normal fabric softener that you put in your washing machine when you wash your clothes. Then you need to um, kill bacteria and germs. And here you go. You've got harpic other causing bacteria kills. So that stuff will kill all the bacteria that is in the carpet. Or what they say, 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So we'll use a bit of uh, cleaner. Then we need to make sure that it removes uh, stains. Think of your uh, laundry washing. What is a stain, a stain remover people usually use? Or what's considered to be a good one on the market? Here you go. Nepisen varnish. That's considered to be one of the best stain removers. So, now we've got smell, bacteria and germ killer, stain remover, and what's remaining? It's actual uh, soap, because when we're washing the carpet, it needs to be kind of uh, using like, like, like we wash hands, a soap. So, I used to use before a powder and the first time ever I will use Dynamo Professional. It's considered to be one of the uh, best on the market for household um, uh, detergent. So now we've got full complete picture. So when we combine both together in the right proportions, we actually get what they put in the bottle. The only difference is this bottle will cost you $17 on a good day. So that means if you're cleaning five rooms or something, it will cost you close to $100 just to normal household cleaning. And I clean my carpets once a month. So if you, let's say, do it 12 times a year, it will cost you $1,200 a year if you're using their product. Now, from my calculations or proportions that we're using, if you use those chemicals, it will cost you 30 cents per room clean. So let's say you clean five rooms like I do, or five rooms and a carpet, let's say six um, rooms, it will cost you around between one to two dollars a pop. So here's the difference. One dollar, hundred dollars. If it appeals to you, let's keep going and I'll show what I do. And hopefully this video will be money and time saving for you. Now, again, all those chemicals are bought on Amazon. Uh, you can buy them wherever you want, I've got no affiliations. I'm just saying one order, click and collect. They deliver it next day, they're all at my place. So it's not like you need to make sure that there's formula in the store that you're going to. That's the chemicals that you're using. And they all in one will be gathered at least glass jar. So, uh, the recipe is for two liters of uh, formula. And by the way, that little container is 236 milliliters. So it will be nine of those containers in one, in one jar. So whatever you will spend $150 on this will be probably cost you close to three to four dollars in this jar, or maybe even less. So let's keep going. First of all, we take one teaspoon of fabric softener. I already got my fabric softener here because it wouldn't fit in, on one place. Choose your fabric softener, choose smell that you like, because after all, it will be, your carpet will most likely smell the way the fabric softener smells. Okay, so we've got one teaspoon, or you can put one and a half if you want, of fabric softener and just pour it in the jar. All done. So next time will be one tablespoon of laundry powder or uh, 15 milliliters of laundry detergent. So I've got here a measuring cup which um, come with my rice cooker. 
you can take uh, any any other appliance don't have to have any special so i'm measuring 15 milliliters and i'll probably measure 20 milliliters because this jar a little bit more than two liters so here you go it will be 15 milliliters of detergent and again i'm using dynamo professional for its qualities and smell as well so i'll put 20 milliliters of that in beautiful so here's the 20 milliliters of dynamo professional again tip it into the jar next one will be narcosin so this stuff uh, will oxygenate the environment and remove stains so the quantity is 1.5 tablespoons so i'll get a tablespoon here and again, don't use the tablespoons that you are eating with, or if you do, wash it thoroughly. So again, 1.5 tablespoons. Again, I'm using a little bit more because I'm making bigger quantities. So I'll put two tablespoons. That's done. And that's the most important bit because this is your main active ingredient. It will kill all Order causing bacteria, right? So if you clean after pets or just you know your carpet stinks for some reason, that's the most important bit. Just make sure that you use a quality product. I'm using Harpic, and I can put link down below. It's up to you what you use. So it's 60 milliliters of that. I'll put again a little bit more, probably put close to 80 milliliters. That it is. So here you go. It is very concentrated formula. So now it's actually a very important point. Boil your kettle, but not to the boiling point. Boil to the point where powders and everything else can easily dissolve. So boil it probably to 50 to 60 degrees. So water will be more than lukewarm and pour it in so my kettle is 1.7 liters to the max point so i overfill it a little bit and at the moment jar is i think two and a half or three liters so it's approximately two and a bit liters of water and here we go solution as you may see, there's a little bit of powder on the, on the bottom, so we need to mix it quite well. So gently stir it, and you will see everything getting dissolved pretty easily. And here you go. It's done. Now, Another tip or suggestion, you can make this anytime, but if you make it just before cleaning your carpets, your solution is already warm. It will be easy to tip in a warm water and in a container and start cleaning straight away. If you make it a little bit before and it's going cold, it may make colder your solution within a container and won't clean as well. So, you know, if you, if you get five minutes just before cleaning your carpets to make this concoction, you're all in the business. Now, this is how easy to make it and I don't see any problem why would you break the appliance or void business warranty. But again, this video is just to save people money and effort and make it your own concoction here. If you disagree with my recipe or you don't want to break your appliance, you don't have to do the same, it just will cost you a lot. At the moment, it costs two doors to clean all the carpets in my household. All the ingredients will be down below. And if you don't like it, those bottles that come with, from Bissell are $17 each. Your choice, and by the way, I'll put them in the description down below as well. So if you choose to get them, at least get them in the bulk a little bit cheaper. Hope it helps someone. 
Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.